natural dynamics of crowdfunding um, are a natural deterrent to fraud in and of itself because when you're raising money from a lot of people, you need to convince a lot of people <laughs> to give you money. And we know successful campaigns um, start with the people that they know first. The early funders in are always the people that know you the best. And then through crowdfunding, you can amplify it beyond that to strangers. Without the Jobs Act being implemented, it's another day that startups need to fight for survival. Pandora, the online radio, for example, which I'm sure many of you have heard, was rejected over 300 times from financial institutions, and thank God they did not give up on their business. Too much regulation will completely stifle innovation and not allow customers to actually, um, uh, for us to actually explore what this um, new equity crowdfunding experience is supposed to be. So nothing would actually change for us. The process was very ad hoc. They were really looking at me. This was a novel idea, selling shares of a real estate property. Uh, it never really been done online before, and so that I was lucky that I worked with them, but if I hadn't had the depth of resources and the staying power, I don't think that would have been possible for most small businesses, most community development organizations. And so I would say that sort of uh, so my basic takeaway is that you, know, you can invest in a Japanese manufacturing company today, but you really can't invest in your own community. Sort of, there's no feasible way other than what I'm doing to, to, for communities to invest in themselves. Because clearly the, the fact that he was able to raise that much money from the crowd was validation that there's market interest. And so he gained the confidence, he gained um, the customer feedback, he gained the validation that he's onto something, and actually gave him power now in the situation with the traditional investors. The reason why the traditional investors aren't complaining about it, though, is that their investment now has com been completely de-risked. That's why I think crowdfunding and the, these creative alternative forms of financing is, um, it is truly American. Um, it's, it's really empowering people to go after their dreams and have control over themselves and their own futures and not rely and hope that some third-party gatekeeper will, will, get, will say you're good.